Hello and welcome to the Intake and Assessment Center at the Language Acquisition Division of DCPS. This short presentation will cover basic information on what to expect in DCPS to help you effectively navigate the school system. The Intake and Assessment Center is part of DCPS, which stands for the District of Columbia Public Schools. Here at the Intake and Assessment Center, we provide orientation to linguistically and culturally diverse families new to DCPS. We provide screening tests to determine if your child is eligible to receive ESL or English as a Second Language services. We recommend the appropriate grade level for your child, which is primarily based on the student's age. We provide referrals to community-based resources, and for high school age students, we evaluate foreign transcripts to determine if high school credits can be awarded. Please let us know if your child has previously taken high school classes so that we can determine if a transcript evaluation is recommended. If your child is here to take the screening test, please know that the test is used to identify who is eligible for ESL services so that the school can determine the appropriate services for your child to become proficient in English. The student score in the screening test helps teachers see a student's strengths and needs in listening, speaking, reading, and writing English. You will receive the result of this screening test as soon as your child finishes the test. In order to register your child, there are several documents the school will ask you for if it hasn't already. You will need to provide proof of your child's age, which can be verified with an official document, such as your child's birth certificate. You will need your child's vaccination record, and you will also need to provide proof of your DC address, which can be verified by documents such as a pay stub, unexpired lease or rental agreement, or a gas, electric, or water bill. Parents and guardians must provide original document documents must be in the name of the enrolling parent or guardian. For more information about required enrollment documents, please ask a member of our team or visit the website listed. Please be aware that some schools require a school uniform. Contact your school directly to see whether your child needs to wear one. Nutrition is essential to your child's academic success and DCPS strives to provide nutritious meals and snacks for students before, during, and after school. To that end, breakfast is free to all students in every school. Lunch is also provided free to students in many schools that have a high rate of students already qualifying for free or reduced price meals. In all other schools, students must submit a program application for lunch. Please inquire with your school to see if you need to fill out an application. To see if your school provides free lunch to all students, please ask a member of our team or visit the website provided. You may be given a calendar at your school which highlights all the days that schools are in and out of session. The days are highlighted in color which have different meanings. The blue days, for example, indicate when school is in session. Red highlights when there is no school. You will be provided a copy of the school calendar for the current school year by a member of our team. You can also access this calendar online by visiting the DCPS web link provided. Did you know that your child may qualify for free transportation to help them travel to and from school? The school will give your child a student ID called a DC1 card. Students must use their active and registered DC1 card which acts as a smart trip in order to rent a bus and train. If your child has not received a DC1 card, contact your child's school. Make sure to register your child's car for the service by either visiting the link provided or asking a school staff for assistance. Students in grades kindergarten through five are given a grade that ranges from one through four with one indicating not meeting the standard and four indicating exceeding the standard. For students in grades six through 12, students receive grades of A through F which indicate the degree of achievement of the content standards in each course. Courses with a grade of F do not count toward credits that can be used for graduation. Please be aware that report cards and re progress reports are issued several times a year to document the student's progress. 
In addition, schools hold parent-teacher conferences, which are scheduled meetings between teacher and parent so that the parent can be informed of the student's progress and for the parent and teacher to discuss strategies and supports for the students. Parents and guardians, you are encouraged and welcome to reach out to teachers to discuss your child's progress. DCPS strives to keep schools open whenever possible to ensure students have access to all they need. However, there may be a decision to delay or close schools for safety reasons. To stay informed about unexpected school closures or delays, listen to the local news on the TV and radio. You can also check the DCPS homepage at www.dcps.dc.gov. You can also sign up to receive email alerts by visiting www.dcps.dc.gov forward slash sign up. And you can also sign up to receive text messages by texting NEWS to 91990 or follow DCPS on Facebook. If you need interpretation or translation, let your school know. If the school does not have someone who can speak in your requested language, school office staff can use the Language Line program to call for an interpreter over the phone. It is the free 24-hour interpretation phone service to help families with limited English communicate with DCPS or any other DC government agency. It's your right to have this service available to you, so please let us know if you need help communicating with the school. If your child is here for the assessment exam, you will receive a letter indicating the results of the exam and whether your child qualifies for English as a second language services. Please note that the specific ESL program your child receives may vary depending on the school. Your child's progress in learning English will continue to be assessed every year when applicable. Every spring, your child will take an exam called ACCESS at his or her school to measure this progress. The ACCESS exam measures the student's listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills. Students are exited from ESL services when they score proficient on the ACCESS exam. After exiting, students are monitored for two years to ensure they are having continued success at school. If you have any questions about any aspect of this monitoring process, please do not hesitate to contact your school or our office. There is a wealth of community resources in the DC area, including services for medical and dental care, computer classes, English classes for adults, and early intervention for young children with disabilities. Check out the community resources wall shelf here for more information and let a member of our team know if you want to learn more. Many of these services are free or low cost and are offered to individuals regardless of legal status. For more information about our office and services, you can visit us on the website at www.dcps.dc.gov. You can find relevant information in English and other languages. You can also contact our office directly at 202-671-0750. Welcome again to DCPS and thank you for taking an important step in your child's education. Together, we will prepare our students for success in school, college, careers, and life.